Good morning, everybody. I'm Brother Joe, and welcome to Morning Prayer on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in the Edgewater neighborhood of Chicago, this second Sunday after Epiphany. Welcome to Google Meet. Uh, we just ask participants to mute their microphones. It's up to you whether or not you want to mute your video. Comments can be made. One moment, please. There we go. Comments can be made. Um, to the broadcast, if you are on your computer in the lower right hand corner of your screen, there's a bubble, you can click on that and that will um, allow you to put a text message that's important when we get to the community prayers part of morning prayer. It's our custom to light a candle to signify God's presence. Um, you can do that at home. I'm gonna do that here right now. We follow the structure of prayer of the Brotherhood of St. Gregory daily office app um, in your computer, in your phone, or in your tablet. Um, in the URL line, you can, um, in that area, put dailyoffice.app. It'll take you right there. In the um, upper right-hand corner, um, wherever you are, you can either touch or click on there. It'll take you to the settings page for the daily office app. I'm going to give you um, a couple important settings for us. Um, you may want to look at that in the future. It's, I think you'll get through it okay if you if you don't do any settings now. Um, two settings for us is you'll want to set the Psalms to the 30-day Psalm cycle and the Lord's Prayer to traditional language. Um, for those of you who might be using a, a Book of Common Prayer, I'm going to give you some pages now and I'm going to give you some pages along the way. Morning Prayer begins on page 80 of the prayer book. And the canticles today are going to be Canticles 16 and 21. Canticle 16 is on page 92 of the prayer book, and Canticle 21 is on page 95. The Psalms today are Psalms 71 and 72, starting on page 683 of the prayer book. At the end, we'll do the general thanksgiving, and that's on page 101. So we'll take a moment here. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Together, let us pray Psalms 71 and 72, starting on page 683 of the prayer book. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Never let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many. But you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails, for my enemies are talking against me, 
and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him, go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek me to do evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young. And to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I'm old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me. Till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O oh God? You have showed me great troubles and adversities. But you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you. And so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long. For they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Give the king your justice, O God and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow, bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall pay tribute and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All the kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May, it, may its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. 
May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you alone are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and its mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and its mate, and seven pairs of the birds of the air, male and female, to keep their kind alive on the face of all the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights. And every living thing that I have made, I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the floodwaters came on the earth. And Noah, with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives, went into the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Of clean animals, and of animals that are not clean, and of birds, and of everything that creeps on the ground, two and two, male and female, went into the ark with Noah as God had commanded Noah. After seven days, the waters of the flood came on the earth. The flood continued forty days on the earth, and the waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters swelled and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. The waters swelled so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. The waters swelled above the mountains, covering them fifteen cubits deep. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds, domestic animals, wild animals, all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth, and all human beings, everything on dry land in whose nostrils was the breath of life died. He blotted out every living thing that was on the face of the ground, human beings and the animals and creeping things and birds of the air. They were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left and those that were with him in the ark. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 16, the song of Zechariah found on page, I think 91 of the prayer book. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He is raised up for a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. 
There is only there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean but that he who also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the same one who ascended far above the heavens so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry and for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness in deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament, with which is equipped as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 21, the You Are God, the Te Deum Laudamus, found on page 95 of the prayer book. Canticle 21 on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Together, let us say the Apostles' Creed found on page 96 of the prayer book, followed by the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Together, let us pray suffrages be found on page 98 of the prayer book. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you, 
We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, you have made us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Next are the prayers for the Episcopal Church of the Atonement for the week of January 14th. You can add your own intentions either silently or aloud at home, or you can add them to the comments feed of this broadcast. Hopefully I will see them and I can read them. We pray for the healing and comfort of those for whom we now offer our prayers. We pray for the sick, for Matthew, Mark, Eli, Ron B, Judy B, Jerry C, Brad, Mary, Killian, Dennis, Mary R, Ed, Thomas, a priest, Susan T, former President Carter, Ken, a deacon, Mary, Michael, the presiding bishop, Eddie, Donald, John, Tim, Connie, John, Warren, Scott, Mary, Mary Jane, excuse me, Eric, Betty, Tony, Larry, Sandy, Jenny, Mother Emily, Beth, Max, Frank, Elise, Irene, Father Greg, CSV, George, Barbara, Tony B, Marilona S, Lily, and all with COVID-19. We pray for those needing special prayers, the families of those hospitalized in nursing homes, especially Elizabeth, all who mourn for peace of mind, for Cecilia, for the Stoutner family, for all victims of violence, assault, and crime, for peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine, Israel, and Palestine, for our Edgewater neighbors, and for the work of Care for Friends and Care for Real and all whom they serve. We pray for all healthcare workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica K, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Kari, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily. For all families and children in this city and state, for all expectant parents, and for all prisoners. We pray for members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott serving as security in Iraq. We pray for Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Dave and Amanda, our wardens, and for the members of our vestry. We give thanksgiving this week for the birthdays of Sam al Nassar, Sarah Ruth Ortiz, Kate Mayer, Miriam al Nasser, Julian and Miriam Hooley, Alba Wyman, Louise Burke, Hetty Jones, and Tom Helm. We give thanksgiving this week for the wedding anniversaries of James and Lily Weglar. Gerald Moose, Stacy, and Travis Stacy Moose, John Waters, and Eric Nigren. And we pray for the departed. For Carol Johnson, Aiden Canto, and Father Alan Sislo, CSV. And at the anniversaries of their deaths, for Cecilia Christensen, Jacqueline Antoine, Bernice Tingley, Elise Hartman, Jorge Petit, Julius Joseph Lang, Julian Garcia, John Winslow, Kenneth Tether, Ron Spidell, Lawrence Snar Sarnick, Carol Hawthorne, Anna Catherine Oliver, Clifford Sutton, Annie Hokewater, and Henry Lambin. We have, we have a prayer for peace and hope. O oh God, we pray for all the children of Abraham in Israel and Palestine and in every country of the world. We pray for Muslims, Jews, and Christians that we will draw on the best of our traditions to guide us away from the words and acts 
of division and discrimination so that everyone may be free to live in safety. Protect the vulnerable, strengthen the fearful, and comfort the grieving in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Together, let us pray the general thanksgiving on page 101 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with th truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This concludes morning prayer. You can join us for morning prayer every morning with the Episcopal Church of the Atonement every morning at 8.30 a.m. here on Google Meet. Um, on Tuesdays, we have evening prayer at 5.30 p.m. That's Tuesdays only. Also on Google Meet, you can get there from the Atonement website. There's a new weekly mass schedule Monday and Friday, 7.30 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday at noon, and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Saturday, there's a healing mass. Um, Sunday mass schedule is low mass, which is finishing right now, 8 a.m., sung mass at 9 a.m., and a solemn high mass at 11 a.m. broadcast on YouTube. This, not today, but this coming Sunday um, on January 21st, that's Religious Life Sunday, so you might want to note that on your calendar or in your mind. The following Sunday, on Sunday, January 28th, there's only going to be one Mass at 10 a.m. Um, because that's going to be that's going to be followed by the annual meeting. So on Sunday the 28th, 10 a.m. Mass only. And then the next Choral Even Song with the St. Cecilia Choir will be on Wednesday, January 31st at 7 p.m. So everybody have a great week. Stay warm, be kind, and be safe. <laughs>